Hello everyone, my name is Vern Nielsen and I feel blessed to be your district governor this year. Internationally 2016-17 is a great year to be a Rotarian. Not only is 2017 the 100th anniversary of the Rotary International Foundation, but it's also the year that we may have no new cases of the wild polio virus. What an amazing accomplishment by Rotary and our international partners to eradicate polio from the face of the earth. I first want to thank you for all you have done and ask for your continued support in this coming year. Most of the great work that Rotary does happens at the club level. Every town I visit, I see Rotary signs for water parks, skateboard parks, playgrounds, beaches, etc. I wish I was here with you in person today, but the reason I suspect most of you have heard is I have been diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer and my current chemo treatment is every two weeks. I'm sure you can understand this makes it impossible for me to complete my club visits in person as originally planned. Fortunately, I have an excellent team of assistant governors who have been amazingly supportive and Vice Governor Greg Luring has offered to help in any way needed. I have another district governor message I was planning to give to each of the 59 clubs in our district, but that was before I was diagnosed and told the median life expectancy is six months. That means 50% of the people live less than six months. That changed everything and turned my world upside down. If I only have six months, what do I want to do? I thought I might give up my district governor position for my bucket list. And some people suggested I should. But that's when I realized, more than ever before, how much I love Rotary and all the people I have met through Rotary. I want to spend this year not only with my family, but also with my Rotary friends and colleagues. I've been on an incredible journey the past few years preparing to be a district governor. The training is incredible, the people you meet are amazing, and the relationships you develop, particularly with classmates, are very special. When my classmates and Rotary friends found out about my cancer, they rallied behind me like nothing I could have imagined. Rotary International Director Dean Roars told me at the International Convention that my Rotary friends would be the wind beneath my wings. And was she ever right? Emails, cards, offers of support and advice, and prayers that brought tears to my eyes. This would not have happened were I not a Rotarian. I love being a Rotarian. I like the committee work, the fellowship, the weekly meetings. I encourage all Rotarians to attend their district conference. It opened up a whole new world to me. Now for my district governor message. Your district leaders develop the district strategic plan and the priorities are grow membership, promote the Rotary Foundation, advance public relations to, to build Rotary's public image and enhance administrative and organizational effectiveness. Personally, I think the major focus should be public image. I remember my sales and marketing days in the food industry. The most successful brands in virtually every case were the ones that promoted their features and benefits to the consumer. These were the brands that developed a large, loyal customer base. I believe this also applies to Rotary. If the public really understood the depth and breadth of Rotary, they would come knocking on our doors. Public image, membership, and foundation work together. When the masses know what Rotary is and does, membership will grow. And when membership grows, foundation donations will also grow. It is a simple formula, but it starts with informing people what Rotary is all about and what we do. Now I ask you to support these initiatives to keep our district strong and growing. Build Rotary's public image, build membership, and grow foundation. I've been working hard getting ready for my year as a district governor. I counseled with many of my classmates on what they did in their districts on a variety of issues. And I believe we are adopting several new best practices. We made pre-pets and pets special. I was fortunate enough to have a great group of president-elects 
and we did everything we could to prepare them for their year. Being a Rotary Club president was one of the best years of my life, and I want each of my club presidents to get that same sense of joy and satisfaction from their year. We encouraged them to prepare a plan in advance so they could enjoy the process of working their plan during the year. We increased the number of assistant governors, so no assistant governor will oversee more than six clubs, and we asked all the assistant governors to do more regarding supporting the clubs with more training and increased use of Rotary Club Central. Our new membership chair, Rob Tidd, is improving the membership plan, adding specific hands-on ideas, things anyone can do to increase membership. We are planning two million dollar dinners this year, one in the U.S. and one in Canada. This will help raise the funds we need to finish the job on eradicating polio and supporting the hundreds of other projects that Rotary does every year. I personally am changing my will and one of the changes is a significant donation to the Rotary International Foundation. I hope you will also, and if your donation is more than $10,000, you will be invited to one of these million dollar dinners. Kilian Banerjee, the current chair of the Rotary International Foundation and past Rotary International President has already agreed to attend. And finally, we are planning the most incredible district conference at the best venue in our district. In a few minutes, we'll show you that video. Over the past while, I have had so many friends and acquaintances ask me if there's anything they can do to help. Well, actually, the best gift for me is if you could help build Rotary Public Image. I believe if people know what Rotary is and what we do in the world, they will want to join and membership will grow. And when membership grows, so will foundation donations. I would like to finish by quoting one of my most favorite poets, Reverend Albert Baudeo, a great Rotarian and a great friend who passed away a few years ago. Bring me all the flowers today, whether pink or white or red. I'd rather have one blossom now than a truckload when I'm dead. Thank you and God bless.